Welcome to another Carpetone video. This is an in-depth tour of a 2022 LDV T60 Max. In this video, I'll give you a full around this car, show the extra, the interior, a couple of interesting features of the car, and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you got a full redesigned front end, as you can see. Which looks quite nice. You can also see that what's also new is, again, it's starting to be a new trend that's going on with a lot of cars. It's this sort of split headlight design. See, so you've got the top portion, you've got your LEDs. And then the lower portion, you got your headlights. I think it was like Hyundai or Kia started doing this sort of thing, and a lot of other car makers are now doing the this sort of trend also. I'll just go a little bit closer; you can get a better look of the the top portion of the, the top portion of the lights. You can see you got you can see it's full LED. You can also see you got this really nice sort of texture inside the headlight inside the one of the lights there, which actually looks quite cool also. And I'll just step a little bit lower and you can have a better look at the LED LED lights there also. You can see you've got some nice chrome and you can see it's got this nice sort of blacked up finish there also. I'll just switch to a wide angle lens so you get a better look at the front end. You can see you got this much more larger grill. And you can see it's got a little bit of some nice chrome towards the top there. And you can see you got this sort of matte grey style finish there also. So I've got this kind of way so it's a little bit hard to see but get a better look like that. In some countries, and this is called Maxis, whereas in Australia this is called LDV, so they both have um, different nameplates. Now the fuel consumption of this use, or pickup truck I'll say, is not, is not available there, so I'll leave that in the motion graphics. To show you the sides of this use. So you can see your wheels here. So in terms of the tyres, they are... I've never heard this brand, it is... Gitty... Gitty 4x4 HT152... 152 tyres. And these tyres are made in China. In terms of the tyre size, they are a 70 inch tyre. Have a look at the suspension there. You can see you got this old back grey, um, metallic grey finish, which is also quite nice. You can see disc brakes in the front, and in the rear you've also got a mixture of. Yeah, you've got disc brakes in the rear also, which is also nice. You can get a better look at these wheels. So you've got the mud flaps, and I'll just. You can have a quick look at the undercarriage there too. Show the side profile of the suit. This one's a bi turbo model. So, see, this one's got surround view cameras. Also, quite nice. You can see you've got some nice chrome on the on this side of your mirrors there, too. Have a quick glimpse of the interior, and we'll get a more of a detailed look section in a little bit later. So, you can see you've got a completely redesigned interior as well, which looks a bit more updated and modern. And you can see a better screen, because I remember I did a video on one of these, and the screen wasn't that great. You can also see you got some nice chrome all the way here, just nice. Show sure your rear wheels. See also the rear. The rear end has slightly changed a little bit. They've got this sort of um. It's a bit hard to see, but you can see like they've got this sort of um, map, sort of plastic here, there, and you can see they've got embossed there. It says T60 Max. They also added that. See, I did mention Seac Motor, LDV, and T60. So you see, can see you got a step here. You got four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper. You've got your full-size spare tire over there, and you can see you got your solid beam axle. And you can see you've also got leaf spring suspension. So you got a rear backup camera there too. So this one has sort of a top line in here. So it protects the... Which is... Looks like it's actually painted on. I don't know if you can see. And that kind of just protects the inside of the top. So some of the cars they have, they actually screw them on. Or this one looks like there's painted on with a film so you can see your various hooks and stuff like that there it's quite sturdy 
even these cables are pretty sturdy and for those who don't know the LDVs are made in China so if you're looking for just a ute this is quite a pretty good affordable option because utes are quite expensive you see even the build quality feels pretty nice it's quite solid so you can see your tail lights are light, uh, redesigned they look a little bit more polished up you can see you got these nice LEDs here and if I look inside there you can see you got some nice little bits of chrome in there which is a little bit nice detail which looks pretty cool so yeah very nice kind of similar to the Ford Ranger tail lights I think you know so there's a nice little pattern inside there it looks pretty cool so yeah let's have a look at the interior of this use Big side of your mirrors. You can see your hands free. Oh, while we're here, actually, I'll show you the key. So the key uh, slightly changed. I think it's always about the same. Uh, to me, it looks a little about the same. Got some nice chrome here. But yeah, pretty standard key. Got an alarm, lock, unlock, pretty standard. Yeah. So here's the interior. So leather seat you can see, which is also nice. I'll just hop in. You can see the old DV plate there. Oh, the seat's actually more comfortable. It's a nice touch as well. Oh, that's a bit loud. Let me just. Yeah, pretty nice. So here's the interior of the LDV T60. T60 Max. So, now this is a stop, stop, start ignition. You can see there, and you can see a little video plays. Here's interior. So I was just trying to turn the volume, but anyway. So here's the um here's the interior of the LDV T60 Max. So towards the front, let me see if I can turn this. Oh no, I'll figure it out later. So you can see here's the, so here, here you can see you've got gauges which looks pretty much the same as they did before. So towards the left you got your speedometer, your rev count towards the left temperature gauge, a little mini trip computer, and your speedometer to the right, and your fuel gauge. Um, you can see the dashboard is the same. It's Got this all hard plastics. You got some storage, which has got a little bit of a match here. You can put your smartphone, whatever, and you can see it's all hard plastics here and here. Also pretty neat. And you can see the steering wheel is pretty standard. You can see you got this rubber style steering wheel. I'll just turn this off. You can see you got this rubber style steering wheel, pretty standard, and it's got this little flat bomb effect also there. Also, you can see you got this, this silver finish over here. Looks alright, and you got a lot of gloss black from material, which looks nice. But um, the only problem with gloss black is um, they have a tendency to, they have a tendency to um, how do you say? They um, they get scratched easily, and they collect a lot of fingerprints, which is unfortunate. So you've got these well, power shifters minus plus. See so towards the left, you got your wiper controls, and towards the right, you got your headlight indicator controls, and they feel pretty nice, pretty solid feeling. A bit disappointed with that. You can see storage is actually pretty generous all there also. So you can see you've got some storage here. A little bit in there. You've got some big storage vents on the side here, which is also nice. You can drink and um I don't remember how these were earlier, but they're quite larger here. Also you can fit this 750 milliliter bottle and just for argument's sake you can see that sits there they're quite nicely there also. You can see you've got some storage there also there. Which is nice. Um, I don't think that has any wireless charging, and you got some USB Type A ports, which I think they should be switching to USB Type C. You can see also here. You can see you got a new head unit, which is nice. Uh, uh, why aren't you focusing? Which is also pretty nice. So you can see this is looks. Um, it's a it's a bit more like you know up there. You can see you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and I'll just turn this one back on. And if I press this one, 
know how to do this last time. Okay, so you can see you got your head unit there, and you can see you got some update graphics, which is nice. And you got these touch capacitor buttons here, so you can turn the fan speed up there, and it's and it blows pretty hard, so you can see it's actually quite quite powerful. You can see um, all your various controls here, AC, auto, front rear demisters, and they kind of like turn on. I like the resolution, it looks very cool, the graphics. Um, and you can see the temperature. We'll see the lowest temperature appears to be 18 degrees. Oh, let me just put the fan speed. There we go, that's better. So you can see the lowest temperature appears to 18 degrees, and you can see the highest temperature appears to be. Here's about 32. Um, you can see the audio system sounds pretty good. So you can see that's actually pretty, pretty clear. Um, so it's actually quite quite clear, and um, the screen's a lot more responsive. So I'll give them credit for that. You can see all your vehicle source stuff, additional stuff you can adjust and stuff like that um, but yeah it's actually much much better much more cleaner um, just a little bit I think the UI is a little bit dysfunctional but that's, maybe that's just me I'm sure you can change these settings but yeah overall pretty nice um, there's no navigation this one but you know I don't think you really need it you know everyone uses Apple CarPlay Android Auto um, yeah pretty nice I just would like the screen to be a little bit more like taller I think if it went all the way down here and this button was like here that would be a little bit nice but overall pretty nice UI you can see it's um it's it's quite nice like even um like you know the way it responds it responds pretty nicely so I mean quite quite impressed for kind of this sort of price range really cool you can see all the buttons feel nice and recycling yeah pretty cool let's turn that off we don't need that anymore so you can see over here i did mention you got two usb type a ports in terms of speeds i'm not too sure you can also see you've got all your your different you know driving source selectors and stuff like that um you can see you've got your lane departure warning additional buttons and stuff like that hill descent control and this saw mercedes audi style looking gauge shifter here which has some nice black m nice gloss black finish and you can see this Great shift boot, which looks a little bit different than the other gear lever they had there too. And you can see some storage here, which I believe is to put your keys or something. But I think we better here because it's textured, so it won't rattle around a bit. Got a standard handbrake, which is also pretty neat. This stitching here, also nice, and you can see some storage there. The seats are nice. You can see you've got these um, vinyl style seats. Um, you can see you've got some nice red stitching here, and the bolstering seems pretty all right. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, Maybe a bit more lumbar support would be nice, but um, overall, they're not too bad. So you can see, it's it's pretty all right. So you can see all the seats look pretty all right. So you can see sunglass holder. You can see illumination, and you know you can obviously press them individually. Standard vanity mirror here. Another one over here. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's not perforated, which would be nice if it was, but um, yeah, pretty all right. You can see you got um, I think somebody told me in one of my old videos they got additional cup holders here, so we can see if we can fit this. Doesn't look like we can, but these are more like coffee style cups, and I think you've got one for the passenger too. You can see, and some more cubbies here, and yeah, all. Hard plastics, but you've got some soft touch materials here and here. I think it's all right, yeah. Too bad. Switches feel pretty all right. They feel pretty premium. Soft door cards, you can see. There you go. And you can see the driver's side seat is also powered. I forgot to mention about that. But yeah, nice and wide opening. That's one thing a lot of Utes don't have is wide opening doors. This one opens relatively wide, so you do have access to get inside of the vehicle. You can see you got some storage here, some additional cups. So while we're here, I will just show you. You can't, oh yes you can, you can fit these drinks, a bit of a squeeze, but keep in mind this 
bottle has a little bit of a bulge at the bottom. But you do have some good storage in the rear, and compared to some other vehicles, you've got good storage. Not just most cars will just have a bottle, but you can actually put some storage like a phone or something here. All hard plastics here, as you can see, you can see soft touch material here, and some red stitching. All pretty nice, not too bad at all. I'll just move this to this side. Close, you can have a listen to the doors, how they close. Yeah, pretty not, not too bad. So you can see some hot plastics here, some nice gloss black material here, some chrome plastic door handles, all the switches feel pretty nice, soft touch material there, and the rest is all hard. So you can see some pockets here. You can see you've got your additional vents here, which is nice, supposed to be inducted on the seat. Another 12 volt slash 120 power outlet, and this is some blank space here. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but um, I'm not too sure. Maybe some additional buttons, I'm not too sure. You can see rear visibility seems pretty good, so you can see you can see quite a fair bit out. A little bit of blind spot there, but um, yeah, but big windows, so you get some good ventilation, and very easy to see. While we're here, I'll show you the dashboard from the rear seat. So let's have a look at these rear seats. So you can see the rear seats look quite similar. You can see you've got some nice red stitching here. You can also see here some more stitching here and some more red stitching here also. So you can see pretty nice. Let's go have a look at the engine. It's a bit of a, um, you kind of have to jump a bit because it does have some a large amount of ground clearance, so I'm sure you can option it with some side steps because people like me are quite short. So you got handle there. So just bear me with me for one moment. I'm just going to be opening up the bonnets. Oh, okay. So this one has some struts over here. I don't know if the previous one had that actually, but this one does. So, Sayak 2. Okay. So, here's your engine bay. You can see you got your battery there. Power steering fluid, coolant. That's better. I was quickly to take a look at the um, fuel. I don't think I had a good look at that. There's a little to toggle here. So it looks like an electronic release. This one obviously takes diesel. So. Well, that's my little walk around of the LDV T60 max hope you enjoyed this video this car is to sell at mentone ldv i'll leave the details in the description below um sorry for this extra in the video just a little bit of an unexpected video hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching guys take care